Welcome everybody to Mindset Monday. What got you into business in the first place? What keeps you going every day? What goals have you got going on right now? What are your dreams? So today we're gonna to talk about all this stuff and how it actually applies in business. As we go through business in day to day, it's easy to get caught up in the now and start to forget about these goals. Andy, what's your take on this? Yeah, I mean, I very much agree with what you've just said. Isn't it interesting that, you know, when, when we go into business, we probably went there with the, uh, the idea of having more freedom, more choice. Um, not many of us had massive dreams, I don't think. Uh, and the que first question I'd ask is, why not? Because mm -hmm. anything's possible, right? That's got to be the standpoint. If somebody else has done it, you can too. You just have to find out how. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Got to be that. Spot on. Yeah. Um, but then what happens, the next stage is we jump onto the treadmill of our business. So what mm. do I mean by that? Get consumed in the day to day. And how easy is it then to lose sight of those goals? And you know, the dreams, if you had them in the first place, sometimes they get to, tend to get a bit washed away as well because, because of that day to day grind. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I mean, um, I, you know, as a business owner myself as well, it's, you do get caught up in it. It can be quite a lonely world as well, especially when you're not around other people. I mean, we was at the 90 day planning. So Andy does with every client of Andy's, they'll all come together for a 90 day planning session and uh, all start to share and collaborate with each other. It's so powerful because being in business, it's you're just going through that day to day, like not really seeing the big picture. It's just how do I get through the day? How do I get through the week? Absolutely. And isn't it interesting that that how do I get through the day, how do I get through the week, very, very short term and tends to be moving away from pain rather than towards mm. pleasure. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, back to that quality of dreams thing again. Um, and what I've noticed with a lot of people is, you know, that when they start to feel that, like they've been knocked off course a bit, what mm. they start to think about is changing the goals. Absolutely. Because they don't perceive those goals to be possible. Well, there's a couple of really important things with goals. Goals are things that you have to grow into. You shouldn't be able to do them right now because if you can, they're a to-do list, not a goal. <laughs> right? I like that, yeah. <laughs> so essentially what we have to do is learn and we have to grow into our goals. So why is it then if we set a goal and we get uh, knocked off track so many people that I come across are happy to change the goal. Whereas what do they really need to do? They need to change the learning and they need to change the plan because the goal should be carved in stone. Why would you ever give up on your goals? And on the back of that, you know, what are the quality of your, quality of your dreams? Because the dream, if the dreams are so good that the goals are just challenges, then you can't lean on excuses. You can't. You've got to learn new stuff. That's brilliant. I love the, the idea of growing to your goals. I actually said something today when I was doing a presentation in front of Andy's clients. And um, there's a saying that reach for the stars and at least you hit the moon. And I thought about this after I said it. And I thought, you know what? That's wrong. Because it should be reach for the stars and don't stop until you're, you're touching and burning that star, you know, because you're kind of like giving up then as well. Like, oh, it's okay, I've at least hit the moon. But it's not setting a realistic goal. It's not setting something that's, that's standard. That would probably be good, some, something to talk about next is realistic goals and the yeah, old. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's cover that another time. Yeah, we'll cover that another time. Guys, we're going to have a quick break now. Um, uh, catch us after this break, lost my words then. Catch us after the break and we'll talk more about how you could actually be achieving these goals. Keep that motivation, keep that state going to make sure you make the most out of the week. Catch you in a while. How far are you going to take your business? The content you're learning in this video is only the tip of the iceberg. If you're ready to take your business to the next level and start implementing the right strategies that are right for you, then now is the time to book your complimentary coaching session. In the session, we explore what strategies will get you to where you want to be in the most effective way possible. Book your coaching session today. Call 01527 757 910 or visit goodtograat.actioncoach.co.uk. Welcome back, guys. You're watching the Good to Great Mindset Monday. Talking about goals today, growing into the person you need to be to get to those goals. And he said before the break, if they're not, if you don't need to grow into it and you don't need to change and they're not in the future, then they're just a to-do list. If you can go out there now and make those goals happen, 
then you don't need to have any self-development for it. It's just a to-do list. So, what's okay? If we're going to take this to the next level, then so people can actually apply these goals in their business, yeah. what what would you say to somebody? What would you say to a client sitting opposite you right now? Okay, for me, there's it's it's very simple. There are three main things. Uh, your goals are cast in stone. If they don't scare you, they're not good enough. Okay. Okay. They should scare you because you don't know how to achieve them right now. Um, so. Here are my three tips for this, for after you've cast those goals in stone. The first one is this, um, is it possible? The default answer has to be yes, because if somebody else has done it, then you can too. You just have to find out how. Mm -hmm. So who do you know who's done it? And will, is it possible to go and sit down with them, take them out for a cup of coffee and ask them some questions? Because I'm sure they'd love to share their story with you. So yeah. that's tip number one. Yeah. Second one is, Directed learning. So what do you need to learn to enable you to put a plan in place to move towards your goals? Yeah, what do you need to know? And the third one is, you know, quite frankly, guess what I do on a daily basis? Help people move towards goals um, by pointing them at directed learning to help them get there and then hold them accountable to do it. So those are the three things, you know, get somebody who supports you, challenges you and, um, holds you accountable to actually um, following through on what you say you're going to do rather than sabotaging yourself and changing your goals instead of the plan. Interesting you said sabotage yourself then because we have these great goals that we're going to make it happen and then all of a sudden we can go out there and we can speak to a family member, a friend, even somebody else in another business and they'll go, oh yeah, I've done that before, it hasn't worked for me, this, this, this and this. And they're just making it not possible. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Limited yeah. thinking. And then we have to choose whether we want to accept that or not. Yeah, choice. And that always is a choice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, choosing what goes into our minds. Very cool. Okay, uh, yeah, let's wrap it up then. The three points Andy made. Who do you know that you need to speak to right now? Who's the person that you can go and have a coffee with? You can get on the phone, you can speak to, that's going to help you go to that next level. Um, directed learning, what are the things that you need to be learning? And thirdly, who's going to keep you accountable to it when you start, the boat starts to rock? It's easy to just jump off board. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, if you need any help with this sort of stuff, you can visit our website, www.goodtograit.actioncoach.co.uk. You can have a read through there. There's other blogs and other episodes too. Or you can give us a phone call on the number below or drop us an email too. Catch you soon.